Okay, I just want to do this quick video. I'm actually doing this on the fly. Um, I just I had someone that um, asked me a question on how to change the boot order on the Lenovo Q180. It's a media PC, it's this PC right here. And right now I'm actually using my TV. I actually have this device right here, um, the Q180 Ideal Centra um, media PC. I have it hooked up to my TV. And that's my screen in the background. And I don't feel like, you know, uh, hooking in and taking everything apart and using a, a regular computer screen because I had it set up on this TV. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm um, going to show you and the viewers out there how um, to boot from your SSD drive or from your hard drive. Because that was actually what was a problem. And that was a good question. One of my... Um, one of the guys commented on my um, YouTube page about how do you uh, change the boot order to get it to um, boot from the SSD drive instead of the um, other devices that's on here, like the DVD player, if you have a DVD player or the uh, USB drive. And the problem with this is, with this device is um, that I noticed when I first hooked it up, um, it actually boots from the usb drives and it boots from another device that is on here i, I don't even know what it's called i have to check in the bios but it, it boots from a number of devices before it gets down to the hard drive to boot so right now i'm just going to do this video i don't know you know um how it's going to work but i'm going to try to show you how to get this device to boot directly from your from the hard drive and not from the um, dvd drive that's hooked up or from the other ports and I try to set my camera to the settings where it shows pretty clear. The colors are accurate from the TV screen. So um, here we go. First thing I'm going to do is just I'll switch this. Switch it to HDMI 2. This is what I have um, the mini PC or the um, Q180 set it. I have it set on HDMI 2. So you hit source, Let's see. Okay, to go into BIOS um, on the Lenovo Q180, you hit F1 at the boot up screen. When you saw the Lenovo logo, you hit F1. So this is your BIOS. Again, I'm using my um, TV screen. I'm not using my um, computer screen. So the resolution is um, it's not going to be that um, high, but here we go. So the first thing you want to do to um, get into the boot order, where your device boots from. So here we go. You want to move the arrow keys on your keyboard to start up because you have security, power, advanced, device, and main. So you just want to hit your um, arrow keys on your keyboard till you get to start up. Then you want to hit down. It says primary boot sequence. So uh, you want to hit the down arrow key. So you want to go down to primary boot sequence and hit enter. Okay, there you go. So this is where you're going to change your boot order. And see what the problem I had with this uh, was you cannot, I don't think you can actually change the order of these devices as you see the first device number one says usb fdd okay i think they're talking about a flash drive and i hit the arrow key down and it says usb key one okay that's another flash drive that i have you know in the computer right now that's a flash drive and a third device is the usb um, optical drive Again, the optical drive is connected to a USB port in the back of the machine. So again, and then you have number four, you have the network five CD and the last number six is your hard drive. Now that's what you want to boot to. That, that's what you want your device to boot, boot up to first. Okay, I just found something out. I just cleared this up now. I just noticed that the plus and the minus keys are working on my keyboard. It wasn't working before. So... I don't know if it was a driver issue because before I could not select the order of these devices, but I think it's working now. So maybe it wasn't the system. Maybe it was my keyboard. So basically to select, 
these devices let's see this is the flash drive number one it's sent on so if you want your hard drive to boot first first thing you want to do is use your arrow keys and hit your arrow keys down till you get to hard drive which is at number five then you want to hit your plus or your minus sign to move the order of the devices so you want to move the hard drive HDD1 up to the top up to number one you're going to use the plus or the minus keys and those keys are located at the top of your keyboard right next to the number keys so you have a row of number keys that says one through zero well next to it you should have a plus and a minus key and those two keys will allow you to select select which item you want to or select which device you want to change the order of so i'm going to let's see i'm going to hit the minus and see i, I go i keep going back and again so this is kind of tricky so i go up here then i hit i'm going to hit plus and you see as i hit plus nothing happens and if i hit minus it goes back down to item seven and there's nothing there Let's see if I could change this. Minus. Okay, this is a problem, as I mentioned before at the beginning of the video. Uh, it's kind of difficult to change the boot order. So right now, I'm, I guess I'm going to have to go down to hard drive, see if I could. I'm hitting minus sign right here. Okay, there's the DVD. Okay, there we go. Um, you can set it up this way. You hit the minus sign, and this is what I noticed. You know, when you hit the plus sign, nothing happens. You can't move the device up. You can't move the order of the device up. If you hit the plus, it seems like only the minus sign works. So I guess to do this, you would have to take each item at the top row, like number one, and move it down. So let's see. You have to move it under the hard drive. So I want to move the operative drive down. Since I got uh, my operating system on a flash drive, you hit the minus key. And there you go. See, it goes down. Okay. So I guess you can change the order, but you have to move them all down on top of the other items. And I hit the minus sign again. See, there you go. Now, the USB number five, the USB drive is actually under the hard drive. So the hard drive is going to boot up before the, um, the USB flash drive. And you just do this to all your um, devices. So I'll move the network down again. So I want this to boot up first. So if you want your hard drive to be number one, you just um, use the minus key. You use the arrow and move the arrow up to, like you say, USB. And then you hit the minus key to move it down, see? So right now, this is the way I want it. I want the flash drive to be first, number one, because, you know, if you have an uh, operating system on a flash drive, it will boot from the flash drive first. And then I want the, since I don't, if I don't have any type of USB device in my machine, it will automatically go to the second item or the next item to boot, which is the hard drive. So this is pretty much the way I want it. So number one, you have the flash drive it will boot from or the USB drive it will boot from. Number two, you have the hard drive and that's where you want your computer to boot from. So basically, if you don't have a flash drive or anything in your device, it's going to boot to USB first, then it's going to boot to the hard drive second. So I would recommend that's the way um, to go to set up your um, hard drive so it boots first and that's it and last is this um dvd i don't want that to be last let's see if i can change it and you have even the network you could have it to boot up but as i hit the plus key nothing happens so basically you have to move all these items down you have to hit, use the minus key and move it down like this and it comes under so that's it so when you finish 
Let's see what it says uh, when you finish. I think you just hit enter. Okay, here it is. It's at the bottom of the screen. So when you have your boot order set up to um, the way you want it set up, all you have to do is hit F10 and it will save and exit the system. So here I go. I hit nine on the keyboard. And it's, oh, I'm sorry, 10. Hit 10 on the keyboard. Uh, F10. Okay. And then it asks you save configuration and reset. You hit yes. You hit enter for yes. And there you go. So that's about it.